Welcome to the Wednesday evening clearing. Tonight's topic is on throat interference, okay? Now I need a moment with this one because when I, when I read the thing or I saw throat interference, I'm thinking, what are they, what are they wanting from this? Okay, but from, for throat interference, obviously that's the energy of the throat chakra, which also really is about communication. And there's a lot of pieces that have to do with communication. I mean, even in this, if we only had this lifetime alone, you're gonna have blockages in communication because, you know, how many times did your parents tell you not to talk like that or not to, you know, not to swear like that, don't say that, or, or even, you know, simple little things like um, feeling like you don't wanna tell somebody something, you're afraid you're gonna hurt their feelings, you know, all that kind of stuff, all those things where we withhold our truth because we don't want to cause harm or we think they can't handle it, okay? Mm -hmm. Whatever our projections are about somebody else, or maybe we, we have a tendency to be like really harsh or really intense or, or rude or overly kind and sweet and nice and really take care of people's feelings. So those are all gonna have energies in the throat chakra where you'll either have an over, overcompensation or you'll be under comp comp compensation but you're not really, really, really expressing yourself clearly, okay? Also, the more you are connected to your true divine self, the less you're gonna worry about how you say things or what you're delivering, because when you're clearer inside and your heart is more pure and, the, and more of your own divine light is shining forth, you will cause no harm automatically. You don't have to think about it, you don't have to worry about it, you don't have to watch your words. You're coming from a heart space rather than coming from a mental space with all the blockages and interferences that are causing you to be inhibited in how you express yourself. So what we want to do in clearings is we want to start releasing frequencies that are blocking you, inhibiting you from clear communication. Since this is dealing with throat chakra, then we want to start clearing that out. So it isn't just like, oh, let me just spin some energy in your throat chakra, let me clear out a few past lives. No, it's much deeper than that. There's so much to this. I mean, when you think about your life, and I don't care who it is, I'll bet you every single day, if in fact you are actually talking to someone, I don't care who they are, if you're really paying attention, you're gonna notice that there's some, in some way, maybe you're holding something back or maybe you're um, hiding something, or maybe your mind is thinking about different thoughts. So you're not really just speaking from your heart. You're not delivering whatever the message is or whatever it is that you wanna say is. And it's simple things like, for example, it can be something like, I mean, I know this is really simple, but let's just say you're at the dinner table and, oh, you want the salt. Pass me the salt. Well, maybe you haven't, uh, maybe there'll be like a little thing, well, can I ask for it to have them pass the salt, or is that okay? Maybe, you know what I mean? It's like, are you out to dinner with somebody and you want to pass me that? And, and you can feel these energy frequencies in your body that feel uncomfortable. Or maybe you say, pass me the fucking salt, okay? <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> so, <laughs> so it could be anywhere in between, could you pass me the salt? Okay, but all of, <laughs> These are all, <laughs> did I shock you? <laughs> I'm sure I'm gonna shock a lot of people, but that who cares, you know, it's like, let's get real, okay? Yeah, speaking from the heart, there you go. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so <clears throat> all of our communication in some way is monitored, or, or, or what is that word when you, you know what I mean? And they black that out, cross, edited. edited. <laughs> Edited, okay, so we edit, our, we edit our communication. And there's blockages, there's reasons why that we are not just freely open and, and expressing ourselves. And like I said though, truly, if in fact we were coming from our true essence, the divine being that we really are, truly, without all the interferences and all the blockages that are in our physical body, in and around us, I'm telling you truly, it would be compassionate, it would be loving. Now, even if you're upset about something, the delivery would still be in a state of compassion. It would be received 
compassionately? Well, it would be delivered compassionately. Delivered, but how they react. And, how they, and then also how they receive it, because you guys, check it out. Everything is energy, you know that. We're constantly reacting and responding to one another. So if in fact our, um, <laughs> our, our uh, okay, I got distracted, it's okay. Um, so what is that? Oh, can they, okay, cool, good one, Paul. <laughs> that was good. Okay, so if, if in fact we were like purely clear, it wouldn't matter what we say, even if it was something that was really, we're, we're, like let's say that somebody, oh here's a good one. Have you ever had people like have the zipper down? Oh yeah. <laughs> or a booger in their nose? <laughs> <laughs> and you don't say anything? Uh, and you let them walk around like that? Something. something in their teeth, you know? <laughs> so why don't you say something? You know, you don't because of don't want to hurt their feelings, don't want to embarrass them, don't want to human. You know, it's like these all these little mental things that we go through that cause that kind of <coughs> interference. Okay, mm -hmm. so if you <laughs> when there's nothing inside of you that gives you the information or the sense that that might be embarrassing or that might be hurtful or that might be humiliating or maybe that would be really intense that you don't have those little blockages, those little frequencies that come into your, your consciousness. It just isn't there. It's more of a free flow, okay? So you have more of a connection of, of uh, self-expression and openness and presence that allows for you to make the delivery. So you can even say things that, you know, that might, in the past, maybe your thought would be, oh, I can't tell her that color looks really bad on her. Mm. Now you go, oh. You know, I think you might look at like the, one of, a really nice color for you would be like turquoise or what do you know what I mean? But you would deliver it in a way that wouldn't be wouldn't be hurtful, but it'd be honest, and you'd also be honoring and caring about the other human being. So the, these interferences have many, many, many components to them, and it, it doesn't just start in this lifetime. It starts from the beginning of your your. Um, inception of your own awareness where you became aware of yourself you know it's like you're, you're the waking up of your own self and from that moment forth all everything that you've experienced is contributing to your blockages and things that are interfering inside your own physical body that are keeping you from just that full expression pure clear expression okay so in the throat center Normally it's supposed to be like that sky blue, you know, like a really clear blue frequency. And when we look at people's communication centers, there's all kinds of stuff. Oh, also, here's another thing. If you were harmed in any way while expressing a belief, okay, like your beliefs, if you were harmed or judged or, or killed, or, you know what I mean? It's like in some way that you, something happened to you. Like for example, I can see a lot of damages in the throat centers. Like I look, like most people have been slit, their throats have been slit. Most people, many people have actually experienced hanging and you know, all kinds of different things that happen to this part of the body that gets associated with, oh, I just spoke the truth, now I'm being killed for it. Okay, so that's gonna be some of those really intense feelings, like sometimes you feel yourself locking up. Do you all have that, have you ever had that experience where literally you just felt like, ugh, mm -hmm. can't go there, can't get anything out? <laughs> that's because you probably had something that really, really, really rocked your world, maybe even took your life and was so traumatic and so intense and it hasn't been cleared that you're still living as though it's gonna happen, okay? So that's true with everything. You know, everything that you're experiencing in your communication, there's gonna be all the little computer memories in your soul imprint of all your incarnational experiences, everything you've ever experienced is still gonna be in your energy field, in your energy frequency, if you haven't cleaned it out. Okay, now there's different ways to clean it out, but most of humanity has not done anything to clean out all their past experiences. All they're doing is going, oh, can't trust telling the truth anymore. Can't tell anybody the truth. Can't let them know my religion beliefs. Can't let them know my political beliefs. Can't let them know what I like to eat. I mean, even things like, okay, you got to dinner with someone who's a vegan. Did anybody ever experience this where all of a sudden you're acting like you're a vegan or vegetarian? <laughs> yes, I don't want her to 
okay? <laughs> or, you know what I'm saying? It's like, okay, it's like, you know, you're not really just being yourself. You're kind of like meeting, meeting people where, where they're at and trying to meet them there rather than just being who you are, okay? So you've, it, it, it's, in, it's ingrained in you. It's in your soul imprint, all these energies that should let you know that things are not safe. Being different is not safe. You know that, right? I mean, you probably have fresh recollection of, of being different and it not being safe, okay? In this lifetime, okay? So just imagine that you've had hundreds of lifetimes, maybe even more than a thousand lifetimes or even more than that, and at least half of those you had experiences letting you know that communication is unsafe, telling the truth is unsafe. And you really were persecuted for your beliefs, okay? Remember, you may not consciously remember, and, but remember way back when um, like Catholicism and then the, different, the di different branches of that, I mean, literally killing people because they didn't believe the same way. Every one of you has that in your energy field, literally being killed for beliefs that weren't the same as whoever was in control, the one in power, the religion in power, and therefore you were, your life was taken, okay? And it wasn't just taken, you could have been tortured, you could have been all kinds of different things. And what about public humiliation? Okay, remember back in the old, you know, like way back, they put your hands through here and that, that wooden thing, mm -hmm. and then throw, throw yeah. rotten food at you. <laughs> So that was just one thing. I mean, it just goes on and on and on and on and on. And so the body on some level in the soul imprint is almost paralyzed with fear around speaking truth, okay? And as long as you are um, a part of, as long as you do what other, oh, we froze, okay. As long as you're um, conforming, then you're safe. But then you're lying to yourself, and then that creates another frequency in your body that feels uncomfortable because you know that you're betraying your own self, your own beliefs, and yet you know, you're know you making a choice here. Some people literally had to make the choice, either I ad adhere and conform, or I choose to die. Because sometimes that's what it really came down to, death. Okay, So as I'm just looking at the soul imprint, everybody's soul imprint, I'm, I'm just gonna start to spin the energy just a little bit so I can start to activate it so it starts to become more visible. Uh, but I'm, what I'm activating is the, 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 the intense traumas, the shock, the horrors, the, the things of that nature that literally are still spinning in your energy field that holds you back from just really speaking truth. It also inhibits you in ways like conf confrontation. Do you know what I'm saying? Like a lot of people can be like really strong people and yet when it comes to some kind of um, disagreement or where you have to have uh, what might feel like a conflict, people get really uncomfortable with that, okay? So this is actually affecting almost all of humanity. There's hardly anybody that has, doesn't have this kind of interference somewhere inside of their, inside their energy field, okay? So, once we start having these beliefs, we also anchor in conclusions, and conclusions are really important to wake up to. For example, if you, in this lifetime, if you got in trouble for, you know, you're really curious and, and you're touching things, your mom says not to touch them, you're not knowing that she's afraid that you might hurt yourself or you might break something or whatever. All you're learning is to reach out means trouble. Reach out means I'm being punished. Reaching out means I'm not allowed to do that. I'm bad. There's something wrong with me. So we, we, we anchor in those kinds of beliefs and we draw conclusions like, oh, being curious is not okay. Don't be curious. Oh, don't be creative. Do you know what I'm saying? So conclusions are things that we think in our head based on misperceptions of reality, based on immaturity, and based on terror and fear, so we anchor in conclusions and we like to make sure that we are safe and that we'll always be loved, we'll always be part of you know, the world, society, that we'll fit in, that we draw these conclusions to keep us safe. Okay, so we got our little computer memory bank locked into our soul imprint 
that says, if you do that, you're going to die. Therefore, the moment you start to move in that direction, those intense feelings seem to lock your body up, like grip your body, and you get frozen, and you can't speak what you want to speak, or you can't say or do what you want to do, because you've also drawn conclusions about that, that are, you're feeding your own self, telling yourself, not safe, not safe, red flag, red flag, death, death, death. <laughs> I'm going to die, I'm going to die, I'm going to die. Doesn't it feel like that sometimes, like I'm going to die? Yeah, it does. That's because it's like really intense. So in clearing, we have to get your conclusions, not just your um, experiences that actually happen, but how you interpreted those experiences, okay? See, here's the thing. No one, no one is so aware that when you are being <laughs> stabbed or your throat's being cut, other than there's a few, you know, Rinpoche's, a few lamas that would, would do that, but most of normal human beings, no one goes and go within them, oh, self goes, oh, this isn't about me. This is their pro this is their, their issue. This is, they're dealing with their own rage. They're dealing with this. Yes, they're going to kill me, but it's not about me. Yes, and forgive them. I'm not going to anchor this into my soul frequency. I'm just going to let this move through me as they torture me to death. And I'm recognizing that <laughs> it's not about me. Okay? <laughs> no. The moment someone is like grabbing you and it gets intense, you're in terror. You forgot everything, all consciousness, all your high level awareness gone out the window. Okay? You're in survival mode and you're fighting for your life. Okay? That gets anchored in your soul imprint and it's still there. It's still there right now. Okay? So <clears throat> we want to really amp stuff up. We want to really move some stuff today, tonight. And in order to do that, we need to have each of you find that place inside that says, yes. Yes, I want to be freed from this. Yes, okay? So even in that, even when I say to you, find your yes on really cleaning up this throat chakra interferences, notice how that feels in your body. Can you feel any little grabs? Can you feel any places that are like, don't do that, not safe, not safe, not safe, okay? Okay, so we want, to st we want to unravel this because as long as you're still gripping and you're still in resistance, you will block the clearing, okay? You need to know this. You will block it. And yes, no matter what, shift will happen and more will happen when you give the go-ahead, okay? So... Let's do this. I want you just to think of, because what's also happening is that also is hitting into life, death, survival. If we release these frequencies that have been protecting you all these lifetimes, part of you is thinking, you're going to die. You won't be safe. How are you going to, you know, that's a bad idea. Okay? At least it feels like a really bad idea. So there's a part of you that's like, in that, in that space of, or that, that, uh, that consciousness of survival, human survival, the mechanism that grabs hold and says, don't do that, we're going to die, okay? So we want to unravel that, but first we're going to activate it, okay? So before we actually get started on the actual clearing, um, let's just, we'll start doing some activation with that so that we get ready, so that you're more prepared to let the body let, let things go, okay? Yeah, 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 okay. So, yeah, we're not quite there yet, but... All right, so the communication, it, the, the, all the interferences that occur, it, it, so then again, it isn't just your own experiences. Now, I know many of you know this because you've been with me and studying this and you learned this all, but there's people that don't know this. There are interferences as well that contribute to the intensity of what you are experiencing, okay? We call them discarnate beings, entities. Now, we're ta now on one level we have humans, human beings that have died who also have the same kind of frequency, and, and then we have discarnate beings that are from other dimensions, we have discarnate beings that are not even from the earth plane. We have creatures, we have 
insects we have. I mean, people are gonna think I'm nuts, you know? <laughs> but I see it all the time. But so does everybody else, you know? It's okay, not just me. Okay, cool. It's good having other people, you know, that see the same thing. So, and then we have like energetic implants, and then and we have um, uh, different, different implants that do different things for different reasons that interfere with you. And then we also have like all your, you know, all your past incarnational experiences. And we also have aspects and pieces of you that have been taken or lost or given away. So lots of you is not even here. And then we also have dark force interferences. So there's, there's lots of things that are literally contributing to your inability to just be that divine, beautiful light that you are. So what we want to do is clear the debris out so more of your light shines forth and then everything changes. You guys, it's not about trying to figure it out. It's not about mantras. It's not about, you know, writing stuff down. It's like liberation, being who you are, discovering who you are without, you know, don't say anything or, you know, don't listen, hide who you are, don't look at me, you know? It's like, no, free. That's what we're after, freedom.